Today is a very good day. It's a very good day because it's the first day I'm fully caught up in videos. I've uploaded five videos in, since last night. I did three last night, one this morning, and I just finished one. Then I uploaded that one. But, uh, slight problem though is regarding all these shirts, I'm finally starting to get them all delivered out to people. But I only ordered three smalls because I didn't think that many people wore smalls. But apparently every single girl in the world wears a small. So, I have one left, but two people want a small. So, I've been thinking about this for a while and kind of freaking out. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but I want to get everybody a shirt. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a medium, and then I googled how to shrink a shirt. And this seems fairly promising. So, I'm going to do all of this. <laughs> i got to boil the shirt, put it in boiling water. I'm hoping I'll shrink it enough. Um, I have high hopes, and then I'm going to deliver that one. And then maybe another one. I'm gonna go work out today. I'm gonna go quote a deck. It's gonna be a good day. Let's get it started. First thing I'm doing is cutting off the old tags because she did ask for a small, but as I said, I have a problem with only one small, so this way she won't know I'm sliding her medium, but it's gonna fit the same anyway and the shirt will still be soft. So it should be okay. And it looks like the first step here is, is to wash the shirt on hot, hot, and we gotta dry it on high heat. Put it on hot, that's really the only option. Just got started. And then while we wait for the shirt to wash, I had a really good idea of an ad I'm gonna do for McCormick Staying Services on Facebook, but I couldn't really do it because I delete my footage after I upload the video, just until I can afford like big storage devices. And the clip I really wanted to use was from like last week. And of course I deleted it, but luckily the Cyberlink Power Director, the software I use, saves the file of the original video right in here. So when I find out what day I stained that on, I can pull out the clip and I'll show you real quick. This is the clip that I wanted. As I go across from left to right, I'm gonna put like a fading in McCormick Staining Services. Like as I stain it, it'll follow that. And then after that, I'm gonna put like shots of the drone uh, rotating around a deck. And I'll just kind of like crossfade from one deck into another all the way around them. And when I put that on Facebook, I think that would be much more visually appealing than the before and after. I think that a video like that will set me out way more than all the other staining companies. And I'm the only one that's advertising on Facebook, I think, like this aggressively. So I'm hoping that once I can finally complete that video, it'll get me a lot of jobs to do. It is going to take me a while to complete that one just because I can only get every clip after I stain a new deck. I don't have any right now. So once the weather clears up a little bit, I'll be able to start getting clips for that. But right now I'm kind of at a standstill because today seems really nice actually, but it's raining on and off forever. I, th I won't be able to stay in until Tuesday, which is eight days from now. So until then, I'm just doing like office stuff, I guess. And shirt just got done in the washer, so I'm going to chuck it in the dryer on high heat right now. All right, it's about 2.45 right now. I got my... McCormick Staying Service shirt on, so that means I'm about to go quote a deck. Brought my workout clothes because I'm going to go hit a workout afterwards. And then I got to drop off this box of old textbooks because I rented those through Amazon, so I got to get those back. And then I'm going to go to AutoZone to get some brake cleaner so I can get these wheels all cleaned up. It's kind of embarrassing driving around with these. And here we are. Looks like he's waiting outside, so I'll catch you next clip. I hit it with this red stuff. This is what we're looking at here. It's a bit of an unorthodox deck because it doesn't have like normal railings like most decks do. It just has these like, well, it's probably messing up there, but it's just like a fence really that's on it. I'll probably have to use brushes for all that. I won't get to use my usual pad. A good thing though, is it's not super high up so I can use this good old scaffolding that I've taken a liking to recently. And we're also gonna use a solid stain because on the floor up there, he's a red and wasn't really a fan of it. And he just wants to go back to the brown. So to make it look uniform, we're gonna use a solid stain. One of the things I've learned that really helps me quote these decks is I'll run through it here. Like I'll just run my hand down here and see how far I can actually reach. So I know what I can reach from the lighter and what I can't. So by doing this, I can see I can reach this bottom part right here. And I won't need to do that from the scaffolding, which will be really nice. So I can just run along this outside board here and get that. This is a very dirty deck. So power washing is gonna take quite some time. And then when it comes time to stain, I have to get bring all my tarps out and cover all these plants up so I don't get them dirty. I just gave them the quote and they said we should just go forward with it. 
also very straight faced they had to think about it for a while so but i'm like riding the line of right about where i should be because recently this year as you may have seen i've been in like a bit of a crisis about how much i should quote people because everybody was telling me i'm quoting too low so i'm trying to get a little closer to that point but i still want to give like people a really good service for much cheaper than what everybody else charges but next i'm going to go to best buy because i'm on the side of town Let's see if i can return this little adapter i used for the drone when i first got it i only opened it once only had to use it once uh, the box is all new pretty much except for one little sticker that's cut so i'm hoping i can still return it and get my 20 bucks back we'll see how it goes here we go wish me luck it happened so fast i didn't really get to record anything but we got the return all good to go next up i'm gonna make my way back to the other side of town again and go to the gym but it's 3 34 right now it's gonna be so busy it's a monday I'm not excited about it, but we're gonna get it done. One thing I do really like about this car, although it's the CBT transmission is not that fun, is when you're going down a hill like this, I can take my foot off the gas and it is automatic engine braking. So I don't speed up going down hills like this. It's pretty cool. I like it. One pair of pants later. Cool. Um, really solid workout. I'm starting to throw in an extra movement, like an extra set of sets. And just because I've been working out for a while now, I'm starting to really get into rhythm and be able to handle more. So that's really exciting. Good to see improvement. Right now, I'm going to head to UPS to get those books dropped off. And I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to go to Aldi first, right over there, to pick up another uh, jar of protein powder, because I'm out. I kind of want some. Gains acquired. I like that tub because it's 30 grams of protein per scoop and it's only 18 bucks for that two pound uh, little jug thing. So I think it's a pretty good deal. And it tastes really good too. Just add some blueberries. Really solid combo. So now we're gonna go to UPS and get my books back before I got a pain extension fee. Thank you. And, uh, 10 seconds, baby. I do something about these wheels, though. I can't stop looking at them, thinking about them. So gross. Which reminded me, I gotta go down the road that way a little farther to go to Auto, to go to AutoZone to get some brake cleaners so I can rub all that off. All right, now I think we're good to go home. <clears throat> hey there, business call now. Hey, I'm doing really well. How are you two? Uh, yeah, on and off, but I should be pretty free. Now I'm just watching the video. What? Why do they call them? And that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. It was really good to get like back in the flow. Just recording in one day and editing it that night. Hope it's just sticking us for a while. It's also really good to get back in the business flow, just day to day staining stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.